Hello and well, welcome to, I think it's the 17th tutorial in Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming and we're going to learn the last of the loops and I know loops are boring but once you get them out of the way there's a lot of fun stuff coming on VB.NET and actually at the end, no actually next in my next video I'm going to tell you all the things I'm going to be covering so get ready for that. Anyway this is the do until loop. I think that's the only one we haven't covered, I'm not too sure. I hope it is anyway. So we'll just create a new project called the do until. And this is basically exactly the same as the do while but it's just it's it is different. There's tiny differences that you'll notice now. So we'll call this do until the button and double click it. Okay, so first we're going to declare num, just call it num as an integer equals zero, just put it as one, and then we'll have do until num equals five, and then you'll have the loop here as well. So you should know this what this loop means and what we're actually trying to do here if you watch a previous tutorial. If not, I'll go over it in a second. So we're going to message box box dot show the value of num is let me add the ampersand and num and then num equals num plus one. Okay so let's go over this. First of all we're declaring num as an integer and giving it the value of 1 and then we're going to tell this code okay you want to do this code until num has the value of 5 so first it's going to message box the value of num and it, first of all it'll be 1 and then it's going to add 1 to num and then it's going to loop the code so when it comes back up here num will be 2 and it's going to message box it's 2 and then add one more to make it 3 etc etc so let's play this and you'll see how it works Okay, so we'll click it. Right, the value of num is one. Value of num is two, three, four, and then that's it. Because it was uh, it was five, it didn't do it anymore. Because if we add one, if it's four, and then we add one, and it loops, it's saying do until num is five, and num is already five. So that's the end of it. So it, it's pretty much the same as the do while, but you know it's different. You, you'll re find really good uses for it when you get into v.net programming so it's just a thing you really need to know so thanks for watching and please comment if you have any questions or suggestions or requests rate the video however you, wh whatever stars you feel it deserves and then subscribe to the channel thanks